and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and like all reefers, I've always struggled with algae growing on my glass. Now, as far as I know, there's no good way to prevent that algae from growing on my on your glass. So you're gonna have to remove it. So up until this point, I've always used one of the mag float magnets. And these things are really good in that they're pretty strong, they're gonna hold on to your glass, and as you Try to clean the algae off. If you knock it off, it flows to the surface, so it's easy to retrieve. That's really cool. The things I didn't like about the mag float was that it didn't get the really hard green algae off of there. And you know what? It was starting to scratch my glass. And that was the deal killer with this thing. What happens is, is if you look at the Velcro on the inside, you get rock stuck in there and those rocks scratch your glass. It's bad on glass. I couldn't imagine what's like an acrylic tank. So I looked long and hard, and I think I found the solution. So check it out. This is one of the best products for the aquarium that I have bought in a long time. The last one was the Jibo pumps. They were just very inexpensive. They worked incredibly well, and the reliability on those things has been unbelievable. And this thing's turning out to be just as surprisingly good. This is the Tunzi Care Magnet. It's the long magnet. And what's different about this from most magnets is that it doesn't use the traditional Velcro-y stuff on the bottom in here. It uses blades to scrape the algae off. So what that means is you're not picking up rock and debris off of the sand bed and you're not scratching your glass. Now this 210 tank I purchased brand new and I started noticing little scratches on the inside of my tank and that was caused by the previous mag float magnet I was using. I've always loved the mag floats and on my old 90 gallon I didn't notice but I bought the 90 gallon used so there were already scratches in it. Well my 210 was brand new Brought it home, no scratches. Now it has a few little scratches. So I really looked hard to find something that would prevent this. And this Tunti Care Magnet seems like it really does the job. I can't speak for an acrylic tank. I've heard people say they have problems with it, but it does all of the normal algae that you would expect a regular aquarium magnet to do. And I don't know if it's gonna focus in, but it also does kind of this hard, algae here. This is just regular algae, but you'll know if you have an aquarium, you get this stuff on here, and it'll pretty well take it off. You gotta work it, and right now I have the plastic blades on here, and you can see that's completely gone. Now, before, to get that kind of stuff off of there, I was gonna have to use the old long stick type thing. You know, that giant piece of crap. I mean, don't get me wrong, that works. But that requires me to get out, stand over the tank, push up, down, on the glass, knock into corals, break stuff, and it was just a pain in the ass. And then you get down, and because your view is bad, you notice, oh man, I missed a bunch of stuff. Well, with this, I don't have that problem. This thing is just amazing. I can come up through here and I can get all of the little stuff. Now this Tunzi Care Magnet is rated for tanks up to half an inch thick. And you know what? Usually when I hear that I think it's gonna suck. And I was really leery to buy this magnet because it's rated only to half inch thick glass and that's what I had. You can kind of see the edge here. Half inch thick glass and usually these magnets aren't that strong. This thing is a beast. I mean, you can move it really fast and it's not falling off. That's a lot of hard knocks. I mean, you can see, that's what it took to knock it off. It works really well. The only downside is you're not able to go around a corner with it. So to make the corners, I do have to lift the magnet up and physically go around the corner. It does come with some smaller blades which allow you to put more pressure on 
the algae itself, which is good. And it also comes with a metal blade, which allows you to really get in on that coral and algae. So for me, this thing has been amazing. I love this Tunzi Care Magnet, and it's pretty well replaced my mag float, it's replaced the algae scraper, and it does everything I want it to do. So, this magnet costs about 30 bucks on a up to a half inch tank. This Tunzi Long is the one I would buy. I was really leaning towards the strong, but bulk resupply. It was out of stock, the strong is about double the money. And you know what? It's not necessary. This thing, as is, is a beast. So, just thought I'd show off the new magnet. I'm thinking this is really what most of you hobbyists probably want. If you don't want your tanks trashed up and you really want to get rid of this hard algae, this is the one to get. So, anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers, and I'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe. Bye.